Oriana here. It's been another week. This is, what, six weeks now? I haven't sat around Starlight mostly this week. I helped out with building and Sardiliac came up with a guard shack for over the gate of the wing. It seems to give pretty good sight lines and allows Preston and Kevin to watch who's coming up the road to come to Starlight. We've also got room to add some turrets either side of the guard station if we need to, although I'm considering asking them to design something to go along the walls so we can have turrets covering us from all angles. I think this will help stop some of the attacks that we've been having lately from some strangely built robots. As we were working on the market, a new guy arrived and introduced himself as Automatic. He asked if there's somewhere he could set up. He said that he'd been scouting the Commonwealth for the Brotherhood of Steel, but that he felt like they'd abandoned him when he'd requested backup after his squad had been wiped out, and instead had taken to travelling around trying to find somewhere he could build a life. He'd heard our radio broadcast and told me he could probably get it running a lot better. We cut up and dragged some of the train carts over using his power armor frame and made him a place where he could work in peace. And he set about fixing up an old mic from the PA system and a radio. I wouldn't object to him running the radio, he certainly got the voice and confidence for it. More so than the guy running Diamond City Radio, that's for sure. We also managed to get another wall on the market square, as well as starting to put on the roofs. That's being held up by scaffolding. I've spoken with the others about how they're going to keep everything up and what the end goal will be with the market. It looks like it will be able to hold most any kind of shop we'd need, and there's plans being drawn up for a second floor where the sellers would be able to live. It's an impressive structure that they're working on and I look forward to seeing how it would come out. It's by far our most ambitious project. We had a doctor arrive, not a moment too soon. She's a really sweet and gentle woman called Denise. She showed up with her daughter, and Sturges, Sardiliac and John went about immediately building them a home. I found some toys the last time I went out, so I gave them to our daughter to play with. We've also got the clinic stocked up. I have to say, if nothing else, raiders provide a lot of chems. It's a shame they don't settle down and enjoy the chem making market. They could become legitimate businessmen and make a lot of money while they're at it. Zaria, the young girl, is a kind-hearted and soft-spoken as her mother. She's a really sweet kid. I hope when I find Sean, they'll be able to play together. Sardiliac and John dug out some pits for toilets after breaking into one of the train carts. It seems they found a shipment of bathroom supplies. I guess we're not going to have to use the buckets anymore. Anyway, this is about it for this week. I'll talk to you again next week. Bye!